Final step of planning is design my strategy. Don't you check out any of you right now. Don't you go, oh. this is so critical. Strategy is your blueprint. Your mission statement is meant to be general and inspirational, but your strategy has to be detailed and practical. How do you know if a mission statement is good? It will motivate you. How do you know if a strategy is good? It will direct you. It must include what, what I've called over the years the seven P's of planning. And this could be its own sermon or seminar. Maybe one day I'll, we'll do that. But let's just do a quick flyover of these right now. What are the seven P's of planning? And, and before we do, let's play family feud with those of you who are here. So there's seven elements of, of planning. They all begin with P. Let's see if your list matches mine. Come on, throw some out. Throw some out. Preparation. Party. Party. <laughs> well, you do have to celebrate. I, 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 the eight P's of planning are, uh, are a great thing. I, come on, give me another one. Proactive. Perseverance. These are the eight, these are the seven attitudes of planning. Purpose. All right, here's the list. Program. What are you going to do? That could be the purpose. Got to identify. What are we going to do? Beef stroganoff. Preparation. Ding, 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 ding. What do we have to do in advance to get ready to do this thing? Preparation. Three, personnel. Who do you need to do this? What volunteers do you need? How are we going to train them? Promotion and publicity. How are you going to get the word out? Once this is our home, guess what we start we need to start doing. There need to be signs there. We're going to get signs on, uh, on the, 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 the big sign there. We need to start from our homes. We're going to have a new logo soon. We're going to start advertising. We're going to start talking up Bridgeway. Price. How much does the whole thing cost? Problems. What obstacles are you going to face? Progress. How do you know if it was a success or not? And then write number eight in party. And, and that, that will preach. You've got to celebrate a job well done and not just go on to the next thing. Take some time to celebrate the good things God is doing. I, I like that. That will preach. <laughs> I love it. If you apply the seven Ps to anything you do in life, what are you going to do for a vacation or organizing a birthday party for the kids? How am I going to lose weight? Man, you start practicing this, things will start to come in line for you. And guess what? We see this in the example of the early church with this offering. Now, the backdrop to this offering I gave you on your note sheet, it's from Acts 11, 28 to 30. Read this. And I want you to listen to what we've talked about. It's all here. A prophet named Agabus stood up and foretold by the Spirit that there would be a great famine over the world. This took place in the days of Claudius. So the disciples determined, everyone according to his ability, to send relief to the brothers living in Judea. And they did so, sending it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. So notice, the offering begins with a vision. Literally, a vision. Agabus sees that a famine is coming. He warns the church. They got to get ready. So the church got together and they said, okay, how do we be the church in a famine? And, and they figured it out and they settled on a mission. Everyone according to his ability. Help give. That's a mission statement. They agreed to some core values that everybody should help out. Everyone should help out as they were able. There are core values that are listed in 2 Corinthians 8. Paul says we give ourselves to God first, then we give to others. That's a core value. Paul says we should excel in, in giving. We should do it with excellence, no sloppy agape. Verse 9, let, let Jesus' giving inspire you in your giving. That's a core value. And finally, the Christians devised a strategy. They practiced the seven Ps. They, they sent the gift to the elders through Barnabas and, and Paul. So they had their personnel in mind. And, and Paul's letter is part of problem solving and also promotion and, and, and publicity. 
And this, my friends, is what we mean by undergirding. These are the nuts and bolts of administration. And just because this is very practical doesn't mean that this isn't spiritual. I know that the Holy Spirit is tapping on some of your shoulders and he is whispering in your heart right now, you know what, my child, you'd have a lot more peace in your life. You'd be a lot more fruitful in your life if you practice some of these things that Pastor Bear is talking about. So lean in close to Jesus and listen. Listen. 